efficient. For sure, all this would mean the stick could break later into the corners. But there was a downside. How much do these brakes cost? Three thousand pounds. Three. That's just three thousand pounds. So we've used nearly a third of our budget on the brakes. Yep, they make a big difference. Most important thing you can do, though. While I wasn't helping, something began to worry me. Any minute now, Monkey and Wrench over there are going to realise they've made a catastrophic mistake. Oh, hang on. Oh. The calipers are too big for the wheels. Ah. Uh. So we had to blow more of our budget on bigger wheels and tyres. How much were they? A lot. Six hundred pounds. Still, as the stig was inserted into the Aventine for another lap, James and Richard were convinced it was money well spent. You can see it's faster already. We learned from our racing experience, which we all share, and we've applied it to this, and we've, we've improved. <laughs> One, what was it, 140? 142.5. Was well, it broken or something? Well, no, it's, it's gone around 2.1 seconds slower. <laughs> OK, well, uh, this was baffling. And we decided we'd bought the wrong tyres, so we spent another 600 quid on better ones. We've got some road legal but very sticky track tyres, which could be worth several seconds. was sure to get us going in the right direction. He can brake later and he has more grip in the yes, corners. He yes. can get on the power sooner. No, the better tyres will enable the better brakes to work. 15 seconds this will be. The one thing I know about is tyres. One. Yes. 42. Seven. So, so with better brakes and better tyres, we are travelling... 0.2 of a second slower. slower. Than we were originally. This doesn't make sense. How does motor racing work? <laughs> How does work? it work? We could try another driver. Having blown half our money and got nowhere, we decided we should spend a massive £2,000 on some new suspension. Whoa. Hold on, stick still in it. We haven't got time.